the early birds have arrived. The later birds are following. I've got to wait for everybody to catch up, ladies. The lambs, first in the queue. Come on, ladies! Come on! Woo! Come on, girls! Uh, I'm going to have to bring more sheep in. There's a lot that are got our land. This is so boring. Java, you have to get out of the way. I'm opening the gate. Brindle, leave it. Well, actually, part of the lameness is the ground is so uneven. So they're, some of them are looking lame, but it's the uneven ground. Even I will look lame walking over some of it because it's frozen solid since yesterday. There's no give in the ground. And there's lots of rumpy, lumpy, rough bits. Listen. Solid. So first thing I'm going to do is put some hay up in here. There's room, they just have to squeeze in. Some people like that lamb, it's taking up so much space. <sighs> Going all along. I wonder if I shifted her. Come here, you. Ah, uh, look, more are gonna do it. Ah, sure, they'll sort it out. You'll get some eventually. Okay. I've got to go and do my Lizzie Borden to the water tank. You can hear my crunch.
good thing I put this in yesterday. You can see where the sheep have been trying to drink here. The ice ripples. Have a drinking hole now. Some will come and drink it. I'll have to come up later in the day and make sure it hasn't frozen again. There we go. Ah, the joys of winter, but it is gorgeous. Frosty, solid, and sunny. Good kind of winter days, even though they're hard work. So, sheep are defed, but uh, what I'm gonna do now is spread some food for the robins, uh, some house sparrows, um, also we have a flock of uh, yellowhammer. So that's uh, bird food. It's so frosty and cold. That'll be gone by this afternoon. So feeding the wild birds, because the sheep have eaten up everything that was uh, put out. So now the birds, the wild birds get their bit of food. This is not something every farmer does, but it's something I've been doing ever since I started farming here. Feeding the wild birds. Hence we have a flock of the very rare, rare yellowhammer because I'm always mindful of them. What you chewing on, pup? Come on, let's go. Okay, the horses, their water tank is frozen solid. So I've got to bring them in because the water tank in the shed is less frozen. So even though it's lovely and sunny and everything, they're gonna have to come in. Come on, come on girls. Atta girls, what are you doing going the opposite direction? Come on, come on grasshopper. Come on, Ishka's gone. That's why the herd leader is Ishka and she's not there. Look at her stepping carefully because it's all frozen. You're going in the wrong direction, grasshopper. Come on, girls! Ishka! Come on! Atta girl! Come on! Good girl. Come on, Ishka. Time to come in. They're all going to the leader and turning around as she comes. Come on, out a girl. A girl come on bring everybody in you can get water they're hanging out at the water tank and I realized it was frozen solid so they need water because they're eating hay so they're gonna come in good girl I know it's very frozen ground Ha <laughs> ha 
Okay, leave it. It's very crunchy. And I haven't been raking up the uh, mess in the yard because I know the uh, cement would be slippy. So the yard's a bit of a mess, but that gives the hooves of the sheep, the alpaca and the horses a bit of grip. So they're all in and very glad of it. And I already axed their water. You can see their water's all churned up. I axed it up. You've all had your breakfast, and you, and you've had your tank, water tank axed. Look, they're in the shed, and they're still floofy and icy. Definitely a cold day. There's a yellow wagtail. I think it's a yellow wagtail. They've got gray backs and yellow fronts. It's all the way up there. Anyway, the sheep cleaned that up, so I'm gonna sprinkle some more rolled barley for the birds. So, I've been getting this fire up and going, and I was about to throw this piece of timber in. And look, the rope, it grew around the rope that was around this tree. That's, you can see there's a little bump there, which is the rope going through and coming out here. That's the rope in the tree, in the growth of the tree. So this would have been a few years before I came here, that rope was around the tree. I can't see the rings, but uh, I don't think that was a rope that I put wherever this bit of timber came from. I can't remember where it came from, but that's kind of cool. There's the rope grown into the tree. Handy for carrying, and when I want to throw it on the fire, it'll make it easy. <laughs> Not to go on yet. I've just put that piece on.